Daniel Concordia, and you are looking at Benji. This is our first print with the uh, Creality CR10. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to level it today and how to do the first print. So I just wanted to make sure I could get it to work before I start this video. So I'm going to turn it on, show you how to bring it up the temperature, and walk you from there. So let's do this. All right, we're gonna turn this thing on. <clears throat> so before we do anything else, let's um, preheat the bed and get it ready. So we're gonna hit prepare. And we're gonna hit preheat PLA. That'll start to bring the nozzle and the bed up to temperature. And I'm going to level the bed. So to level the bed, you can either go to prepare, disable steppers. This will allow me to manually move the bed. Since we're using the tape that came with the bed, you want to go with about a 0.01 millimeter distance between the nozzle and the bed. Um, a sheet of paper works great for this, so what we'll have to do right now I'm going to hit auto home. I'm going to send the thing to home so it'll level it and we can print, get ready to level the nozzle. You want to do it when the bed's heating up because just in case it could cause any differences in height as things ex tend to expand once they get hot. Okay, my bad already. We were supposed to auto home, then disable the steppers. So, like I said, we're learning together, so you're gonna go back to prepare on the screen, and now disable the steppers. And that will allow us to move it. So we're gonna slide a piece of paper under, and you want just a little bit of drag on the paper. So, Turn the adjustment screw underneath, which I'm blocking at the moment, but this is the adjustment screw under here. And they actually have extra upgrades for bigger wheels. These are kind of hard to, to adjust. Okay, so that just gave it a little bit of drag. So I'm gonna slide the paper under again and move this. I'm going to push the axis over. And that's actually a really nice feel. The paper's just dragging. I like it. So, let me do the back. I like to slide it with the paper because this tape has bubbles in it. So this kind of gives me a Getting a little looser now, but now it's, eh, it's tightening up a bit. Every once in a while, I'll just check the height. All right, it seems to be pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with that adjustment for right now. I'm gonna let the bed keep heating up. Um, but let's load the file first. Okay, here's the print I'm gonna start with. Um, I wanna do something a little fun. So this is an octopus. I thought it looked pretty cool. So. Trying to find a good angle for you guys to see it. 
So there it is. We're gonna be printing that. It's automatically gonna start once the program's loaded and the bed reaches temperature. The nozzle's already there, so it's not an issue, but we have about 20 degrees to go more on the bed. All right, let's start this print. So we're going back to the controller and we're gonna load our program from SD. So we're gonna hit print from SD card. And the one I decided to do was Octopus. So we're gonna select the Octopus G code. And it's letting me know that the bed isn't up to temperature, so it's heating the bed and then it's going to start to print once it reaches temperature. All right guys, I just got back. Um, the print's already done. I wanted to film it, but I left the house for a while and this print took about uh, three to four hours, I can't remember. So, here it is. I printed a hollow octopus and I'm gonna scrape it off the plate. Now, since I came back so long, the bed is now cooled down and it's no longer up to temperature, so everything is pretty hard. So I'm gonna have to use a spatula and get that off. <clears throat> da, 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 da. Here you go, there's my little octopusy friend. Um, I was gonna... I don't know what I was going to do. Hmm, this thing looks interesting. I actually didn't... Uh, what's the word I want to say? When I heated the bed, I didn't smooth out the bubbles. So there was a little deformity in the legs when I uh, first laid it down. And you know what? I didn't stop the print. I could have. I could have redone it. But I wanted to see what happened. And it kept printing. And the layers kind of leveled themselves out once I got some weight on it. So stay tuned. I will do another print in a little bit and show you guys some more. But there's my cool octopus, my little octopus friend, my little 3D octopus friend. So, as always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Until next time.